In July 2025, NASA's asteroid tracking systems raised an unexpected alarm when 14 mysterious objects were detected racing through the solar system. Each followed the exact same hyperbolic trajectory as 3 Iatlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor. Overnight, headlines exploded, researchers rushed to analyze the data, and planetary defense protocols sprang into action. The biggest questions arose. Why were these objects traveling together, and where did they originate? While official reports assured there was no immediate danger, experts scrambled to interpret this unparalleled cosmic event. Technology, policy, and the entire concept of planetary security suddenly hung in balance. Panic was not an exaggeration following the Atlas Alert on July 1, 2025. Within hours, astronomers from observatories in Hawaii to the Canary Islands were transfixed by their monitors following a flood of new data. The first object, later named 3i Atlas, was confirmed to be no ordinary comet. Its hyperbolic trajectory showed it was moving fast enough to escape the solar system forever. Then came the twist. Multiple faint signals were found retracing that same improbable path. There were 14 in all, each moving at impossible angles and speeds inconsistent with solar system origins. The Minor Planet Center's confirmation page buzzed with updates, while internal Atlas team chat logs captured the disbelief. Was this a comet family or an interstellar debris train? By July 8th, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, PDCO, had activated full-scale response measures. Requests for additional observations went out as PANSTARS and the Catalina Sky Survey teams searched their archives for prior images. Statistically unique became the phrase in every memo. Within 72 hours, every major telescope network was online. At JPL, analysts Paul Chodos and David Finicaro led emergency discussions comparing these orbits to the two known interstellar objects, 1i slash Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov. Yet this incident was unprecedented. No previous interstellar visitors had appeared in clusters. Some experts proposed the objects were shards from a single shattered body, while others quietly speculated about a possible artificial origin. Official statements insisted there was no danger, but internal teams evaluated every possibility, natural, accidental, or deliberate. The rare event forced agencies to reconsider what planetary defense means in a universe where surprises might arrive in packs. Inside NASA's PDCO, curiosity rapidly evolved into calculation. Hours after the Minor Planet Center issued its public alert, an internal memo outlined the critical situation. 14 hyperbolic objects, no deceleration, no deviations, and each statistically unlike any known object from decades of sky surveys. Though wording remained cautious, no immediate hazard, no reason for alarm, the operational stance shifted overnight. Analysts sorted genuine trajectories from sensor noise, while statistically unique became an official database tag. Protocols launched into action. The Minor Planet Center prioritized all follow-up sightings, the JPL Horizons system continuously refined orbital data, and the Space Surveillance Network cross-checked for classified detections. Partners such as the European Space Agency and Japan's JAXA were discreetly looped in through encrypted channels, and observation time was requested worldwide, from Mauna Kea to La Silla. The mission was clear, pinned down the orbits before the objects moved beyond reach. Behind closed doors, risk assessment teams debated every scenario, a fragmented interstellar body, a new type of cosmic phenomenon, or something unexplained. While NASA publicly assured that Earth faced no risk, internal chatter was relentless. The concern was not only what these objects were, but what their unnoticed arrival implied for cosmic monitoring. The opening days proved decisive, missing any data could mean losing the event's record forever. PDCO protocols, originally tailored for single asteroid threats, were suddenly being tested by a phenomenon beyond precedent. As detections multiplied, so did the push to model each orbit with utmost precision. The next objective became clear, bring all tracking assets online and focus global expertise on this rapidly developing mystery. The Atlas Network, built to spot the unexpected, operates by sweeping the sky nightly in four quick passes, each image taken about 15 minutes apart. This cadence captures fast-moving objects traveling tens of kilometers per second, ensuring even brief interstellar visitors like 3i Atlas or anything close behind it are caught. Each exposure reaches a limiting magnitude near 19, sensitive enough to detect small, fast-moving objects before they fade away. But Atlas is only one node in a much broader system. 
Pan stars capable of reaching magnitude 22 in a single exposure surveys the sky every few nights, linking faint light points into tracklets that reveal new comets, asteroids, or in rare cases, something more mysterious. When a hyperbolic candidate appears, an object clearly foreign to the solar system, its coordinates and motion are instantly compiled and sent to the minor planet center. Based at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory, the MPC serves as the central hub, processing thousands of fresh astrometric reports nightly from both automated systems and human observers. Its algorithms connect related detections, assign provisional designations, and publish findings to the confirmation page, usually within minutes or hours. This global observation framework exists for one purpose, unmatched speed and redundancy. Atlas, PanStars, and the Catalina Sky Survey each provide independent detections while verifying one another's alerts. The Zwicky Transient Facility, with its 47-square-degree field of view, expands coverage even further, especially for fast or dim transients. When a new discovery emerges, particularly one suggesting a hyperbolic orbit, follow-up requests are immediately sent to observatories worldwide. Every new data point helps tighten the margin of error and continuously refine orbital models in real time. False positives are an unavoidable part of the process. Cosmic rays, imaging glitches, and dense star fields can imitate moving bodies. This is why the Minor Planet Center mandates multiple independent detections before granting a formal confirmation of any trajectory. In instances involving a potential cluster, several objects moving along a similar route, the automated linking algorithms sometimes merge or separate tracklets depending on their spacing and timing. Only after detailed verification, combining computational analysis and expert judgment, are distinct designations assigned to each object. The result is a network capable of identifying, validating, and broadcasting alerts about unusual cosmic visitors faster than ever before. Yet with so many components involved, precision in rapid orbit calculation becomes essential. Every observation window is crucial, especially for objects that may never reappear. The next step lies in locking down orbit measurements precisely enough to distinguish random coincidence from coordinated cosmic motion. Hyperbolic trajectories are rare, so even one detection draws attention. But a group of 14 objects sharing almost identical orbits and speeds surpasses anything known from decades of solar system observations. Analysts at JPL and the Minor Planet Center began intensive analysis, comparing orbital parameters with known comet families and debris streams. Their findings revealed that the velocity vectors were tightly aligned, differing by only fractions of a degree and a few meters per second. Statistically, such clustering is far beyond what's observed in typical solar system fragmentations. The odds of this occurring by random chance, given the millions of cataloged objects, are astronomically low. What could explain this alignment? Three major hypotheses dominate discussion, each with advocates and skeptics alike. The first suggests a large interstellar comet fragmented far beyond the solar system, ejecting a chain of debris following a similar escape route. This idea parallels comet Shoemaker-Levy 9's breakup before its collision with Jupiter in 1994, but on a much grander interstellar scale. The second proposes a natural yet unknown mechanism, possibly a gravitational assist near a distant star or rogue planet, which could have nudged unrelated objects into roughly parallel hyperbolic paths. While unlikely, it is not impossible. The third and most debated is the artificial origin theory, raising the question of whether these could be probes or remnants of technology sent deliberately or unintentionally by another civilization. Avi Loeb of Harvard has argued that nature seldom arranges objects so precisely, leaving open the possibility, however small, that an intelligent source may be involved. Each scenario requires meticulous verification. For the fragmented parent body model, astronomers search for characteristic dust trails or compositional similarities among the objects. If a gravitational encounter caused the alignment, the cluster's trajectory should trace back toward a specific stellar region. And if the artificial hypothesis proves valid, scientists expect to detect unusual accelerations, spectral deviations, or signals inconsistent with natural processes. Thus far, none of the objects display outgassing, propulsion, or course alterations, only an unwavering, shared path through the solar system. The mystery persists, as each new observation provides more data, but also deepens the enigma surrounding these extraordinary visitors. 
The next stage involves coordinated spectroscopy and high-frequency tracking, seeking even the smallest deviation that might shift support toward one theory or another. To stay informed on this unfolding investigation, readers are encouraged to subscribe for direct updates from NASA and the world's foremost sky survey programs. The universe has presented a challenge with no simple answers. Yet, not every finding makes it into the public eye. While the Minor Planet Center lists each confirmed object with a clean, provisional designation, the route from telescope to official record is rarely straightforward. For 3i Atlas and its likely companions, the pathway is mired in missing links, some due to technical constraints, others buried in bureaucracy. The space surveillance network responsible for tracking thousands of orbital objects for national security holds vast amounts of classified data that never enter open channels. Even established astronomers must submit Freedom of Information Act requests to access radar images or sensor reports that could affirm or question a trajectory. Many of these requests return with redacted sections or firm denials, invoking safety protocols or pending verifications. Secrecy, however, isn't the only barrier. At times, the Minor Planet Center itself posts only a single entry that may represent several objects, especially when data overlap or observations are limited. Automated systems can mistakenly merge faint, fast-moving sources into one record, leaving the true count of visitors uncertain. Within internal communication threads, emails, and draft circulars, references exist to potential candidates that were never made public. Some of that discussion leaks, igniting rumors of hidden fleets or unlisted clusters. Without access to the classified radar data or raw astrometric files, even professional astronomers remain uncertain about how many objects may truly share the trajectory of 3 I Atlas. International observation agencies confront similar restrictions. Defense radars in the United Kingdom and Japan have reported anomalous traces, yet interagency policies slow disclosure of any sensitive tracking data. Public repositories might list a lone object while behind closed doors, analysts debate whether others are obscured within background noise. The ongoing tension between scientific openness and national security is long-standing, but in cases like this, it leaves a knowledge gap that informed speculation cannot close. The pressure to confirm each detection intensifies because every omission might mean losing a unique research opportunity or, under darker interpretations, missing an untracked threat. So far, official records recognize only a single confirmed entry, although the full narrative, linking classified radar signals with faint catalog traces, remains buried beneath procedure and secrecy. Those seeking complete answers must keep demanding transparency, since the next pivotal revelation might not arise from a telescope, but from a long-withheld document finally released. The focus then turned from identifying these objects to determining how humanity could respond. NASA's mission planners, heavily engaged in planetary defense research, saw both a warning and a chance for progress. If a collection of interstellar travelers could appear with minimal notice, the current defense framework, optimized for predictable, slow-moving asteroids, must evolve. Enter Project Lyra. Proposed by the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, Lyra is not mere theory, but a developing plan to launch a rapid spacecraft specifically designed to intercept fast interstellar objects. The concept involves propelling a probe past Jupiter to gain the speed necessary to overtake an object like 3 I Atlas before it vanishes into deep space. The engineering challenges are monumental. Years of travel, incredible velocity requirements, and a narrow target window, but the potential reward could revolutionize humanity's understanding of the wider galaxy. Meanwhile, NASA's DART mission demonstrated that kinetic impactors are viable planetary defense tools. In 2022, the double asteroid redirection test redirected the orbit of Dimorphos after impact, proving that, given sufficient warning, humans can alter the path of a hazardous asteroid. Yet, DART's relative velocity was slow compared to what interstellar interception would demand. That fact motivates new designs for rapid response interceptors capable of launch at short notice, accelerating to escape speed, and rendezvousing with objects traveling tens of kilometers per second. These emerging projects draw inspiration from missile defense strategies and deep space propulsion experiments alike. Their common thread is urgency. The time frame for reaction is unforgivingly brief. Progress also depends on improving detection technology. The push for a next-generation all-sky infrared survey grows stronger by the day. 
Unlike optical instruments, infrared sensors can spot dark, cold bodies that reflect little sunlight, the very sort that might otherwise slip through unnoticed. NASA's forthcoming NEO Surveyor mission is designed to address that gap, scanning the sun's neighborhood for objects that defy conventional. Classification. The goal is to identify the next 3 eye atlas or similar visitor before it departs the solar system. Each discovery and every mission blueprint represents another stride toward a stronger planetary defense system. The implications extend far beyond a single comet or mysterious cluster. They touch on humanity's capacity to detect, interpret, and respond to the universe's surprises. Those eager to track what happens next should stay tuned, because the story of planetary defense is only beginning. In July 2025, Atlas and collaborating global observatories observed 14 hyperbolic objects along paths matching three, I Atlas, an astronomical first. NASA's rapid mobilization, detailed in internal memos and MPC updates, prove that modern tracking infrastructure can now identify even the rarest interstellar passers-by. Still open archives reveal that much of the associated data remains classified or delayed due to government review and FOIA procedures. The exact nature and origin of these bodies remain uncertain. What is certain, however, is that humanity's tools for planetary vigilance are being stretched to their limits. As new missions evolve and observation systems advance, the enigma of the three I Atlas cluster stands as a reminder of how much remains hidden just beyond reach and how our drive to understand it continues to define our future among the stars.